Hi everyone! Okay, welcome back to my channel. It is another exciting day, yes, because today is part 3, 3 of Angie Bear Finds a New Hobby. Okay, now as I was looking for different things for me to try to, you know, find whether I, I would like it or not, in episode 2 or in part 2, I told you that actually my mom found a new hobby when we did the whole paint by numbers thing, right? But I didn't want to stop there. I wanted to look for other things that I could try. And today, I am going to do this. This is a... What is this? Make your own kit. So it is sort of like make your own little like teddy bear plushie kind of thing. I guess it's more so about sewing and things like that. It is actually for younger kids. But as a 30-something year old woman, I'm still going to do it anyway because I think it's really fun. And this one, it's uh, a narwhal, so it's like a unicorn whale. <laughs> yeah, that's my dum-dum saying it. So I got this at uh, Starling Mall, now I remember the name of that place, and from Book Access for 1990. Uh, I think it's, it's quite cheap, I guess. I haven't opened it yet, so I'll be opening it here with you guys. And I actually think this is something that is very easy to do, hopefully. I'm not like the best at home econ when I was growing up as a teenager. But it is still probably something that I can use to take my mind off things and learn a, a new skill in the hopes. So it actually comes already with a kit. And what else is in there? So it's uh, there's a pre-cut plush fabric. There is needle and thread, obviously. There is a little 24-page book about the novel that we can learn. And also some stuffing and a passport. I don't know what's the passport for. But there were actually different types of animals. There was like a sloth. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a hippo or something. I can't remember. But I thought this was really like the cutest. And it's a little plushy that I don't have yet. So I just thought of trying it out. So before I actually... Tss, blah, 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 before I attempt to make this plushie, I'm just gonna show you guys what is inside this kit. Ooh. Oh, how cute. Okay, so, I'm guessing this is the instruction book. It's a 24 page. Oh, just some step by steps that you can see here. And then, oh, how cute is this? So I can also put my own like about myself here, like my hobbies and things like that. Basically, 15-year-old Angie would like die for this kind of thing. It would be like so fun. But you know, the point here is for me to build this plushie. And then we have a Nawal passport. Oh, I can name him. I can bring him everywhere. So this is like probably after I build it, then I can bring him around and then stamp the places that I brought him to, which is really, really cute. And then... I have this, the needle and thread and the actual plush and this is uh, the stuffing which is so 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 cute and then empty already so I am going to attempt to build this plushie today. I don't think it will take me too long. I think. is so soft wow okay this is going to take me some time but the fabric is really really soft it's like those very soft plushy fabric fabric oh my gosh this little unicorn horn <laughs> then his cheeks i have his eyes i have his eyeball <laughs> oh, his fins. So I'll probably have to like sew it and then stuff the stuffing in there. So this is the other side of his horn. And then the other side of his body. And then that I would have to like connect whatever. Okay, I am actually quite excited to start. Hopefully it won't take me so long and I can put everything like a fast cut into this video. But anyway... This is me attempting to make my own plushie. This cute, cute guy. I hope he actually turns out like this. Uh. We will try our best. So, I will check back with you guys. 
when I'm done. So if you do like what you watch, please don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on my other social media channels. But let's attempt to see if I like this. If I do like this, maybe I can buy more. done um, check-in I'm gonna show you guys what I have accomplished in the last hour and a half I think I have uh, done the two fins which is so cute I have managed to do the horn the unicorn horn <laughs> and then I've also finished um, stitching his eyes and then his little cute cheeks and then his belly so I am basically in my last step where I would just wait, not exactly the last step I would assume it's like halfway almost done step I will just need to now sew him together and then stuff him but uh, I think I will most probably have to sew in his horn first but the problem is it is his this is technically his nose and I don't really know where to like sew it into I might just like you know put it as like on top here like a like a like a little unicorn even though on the on the picture it sort of looked like it's his nose so yeah I will check back again with you guys once I'm done with everything and show you the finished product finally done and this is my finished product look at it it is so cute okay so of course you're gonna see it from a distance because i fluffed up a lot i decided to put his horn here instead of the nose i'll show you a picture um, this is Supposedly how it's supposed to look like and this is my own finished product and This is my baby now. Yeah, do I Want to name him? I don't know. Maybe if you guys have any suggestions of what I should name him Maybe you can put it in the comments down below, but maybe I will just name him Nah, my little baby now. No name but it took me about now it's 7 30 maybe about two and a half hours to fully finish this um of course i fluffed up a lot 15 year old angie let me tell you will definitely enjoy this but older angie is you know ah, feeling some kind of like neck pain and back pain after having to like slouch too much and like focus too much on the sewing and putting the needle into the thread a bit difficult did i enjoy doing this yes will i do this again <laughs> no heck to the no um because it was quite tedious the outcome was really really cute of course i really love uh plushies and cute things but it was so uh, tedious uh, at least for me even though it was just for like an hour or two and my sewing skills are not the best so I can like see all of like the the thread and everything that is coming out right and not to say like I'm the happiest with like how it turned out but it turned out pretty cute I'm just gonna show you guys like if you can see come on focus like the thread coming out because I am no sewer I didn't like pass my home economics with flying colors but it was still something that I had fun. I mean like the back here I just like decided to like F it already. I cannot like 
couldn't bear it, I just wanted to like finish it. But at the end of the day, I did really have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, it was a little bit hard for me to like stuff the, the stuffing into the tail portion here. So you can see it's a bit like flimsy because most of the stuffing went into his little body. And I was like pushing in so hard earlier the stuffing, right? I think I may have like, you know, tore the thing a little bit. And I didn't want to like keep pushing because the material is quite... Um, too soft la, so I scared I would like tear it but at the end of the day it's still really cute maybe he will find uh, a way to like you know be put there in my next videos because I really did do um, I mean I did this by myself so I'm really proud and yeah this is part three of me finding a hobby and I now know sewing will be a no-no I don't think I want to like so I don't know like so close or whatever I am not that kind of person and I now know and between like the first two that I've I've done right of course painting with numbers seems to be the one that I really enjoyed the most because it didn't use too much of my brain um, but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this episode in my next episode I am going to try something that I've always wanted to try but I've never done before and that is embroidery uh, I've already got the kit maybe I'll I actually bought two so I might do that with my mom I might attempt it by myself I haven't decided yet but I do hope you guys enjoy this episode and if you did please don't forget to leave a like you can subscribe or you can comment down below any other suggestions of things that I should try in my quest to find a new hobby but at the same time if you want to check out some of my other videos where I try on makeup or beauty or fitness you can click whatever links that will appear here or you can subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye